Hey, Internet and Melly, it's Casey. I'm in the kitchen at my parents' house because there's no furniture in my apartment anymore. What? Yeah. Um, so, 25 and 52 and moving. Um, I'll make another video before I actually do move, so that's cool. But today, I took all the stuff out of my apartment except for the, the cats and some trash. Pretty much it. And now I'm at my parents' house, uh, talking to my mom, who's cleaning the kitchen, doing this really novel thing called cleaning up before you go to bed. An idea whose time has probably come in my life, or so I'm told. Um, mom and I have been looking at bikes. Do you know how expensive bikes can be? Are you aware? I was, I was not, I was not. This is me stunned by that. We also looked at where grocery stores are, which is kind of how we got to bikes, because there's a grocery store that's close enough. If I just have a bike with like a basket on it, I can do that thing, hopefully. <laughs> um, and also the farmer's market that's on, like on the bus route on my way home from school. And there are so many farmer's markets and so many things you can buy at them. And they're year round. You're around because weather isn't that great that's great I think that's great so there's that and mom and I are gonna look at the IKEA website in a little bit because I need to have furniture in my new life and I'm not taking furniture from here to there because you know who needs a U-Haul truck um, I gave my bed to JJ no bed anymore. No more bed. And yeah, so I'm going to see you this weekend, and that's exciting. Thumbs up. Yay. Um, and maybe we'll do a little bit of video together on Sunday, perhaps? Saturday afternoon? We'll see. One of those times. But I'm really excited to see you, and also for those green tea Kit Kat bars that I am under the impression you bought for me, because yes. Um, Tomorrow, I will go and I will clean my house with the vacuum and the scrubbing and um, try to get my cats to enter their carriers, which is a thing that they're really resistant to. And, uh, yeah, so it's been, you know, quite a, quite a week. Last day of work, last day at church, grandpa's funeral. I ran out of emotions somewhere in there, and at this particular moment I'm just excited I'm going to go with it. That's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I love you, and we'll see you on, what, Saturday? Are you coming on Friday? I don't know. But I'll see you, and it'll be fun. Best times. Yay! Bye. My hands smell like bleach. So, um, we have two of these cameras, this one and that one, and on this one, there's some really good video of my grandpa, and so, um, as time goes on, I'm gonna put clips of that. It's like a whole, like, 35 minutes, so I'm not gonna do it all at once, but I'm gonna go through and get some good clips out of it and share those, I thought it would be nice. So, here comes the first one. Why is it shutting off? No. Ready, set, go. Tell can us you, your name. Can you tell us your name? Well, I already did that. <laughs> well. We're starting again. Yep, do it again. We're starting again. Edwin Ding. What year were you born? 1928 in Masontown, West Virginia. Roar. What, what was your first job? Working in the timber wood. Making roads, breaking rocks, or fixing for the log truck to come over. How much? For, how much an hour did you make uh, back with your first job? Thirty-five cents an hour. Thirty-five cents an hour. Man. Thirty-five cents an hour. Yeah. What would you like to tell other generations, like your grandchildren, about about your life that would impact them? Well, I'll always be honest and tell the truth and. Try to make a straight, work hard, 
and like your children. Do you have any experience in your life that would you'd like to share that was uh, that happened in your life that uh, would help be helpful to other people like uh, your your grandchildren? Nothing I can say, but just work hard. Work a harder die. <laughs>